Hey everybody and welcome to another one of these videos where I update you about the dogs. I've got a few interesting stories this week. Dogs traveling, sick dogs, new puppies. Obviously I have my sidekick Tina beside me. I've also invested in a selfie stick to try and make the videos a bit better. And next week I've even ordered a microphone to uh, see if I can improve the audio. So without further ado, I'm gonna tell you uh, first off about three of our old time dogs who are traveling this weekend. We're sad but happy at the same time. Oh, the three boys. So the first thing we're doing this week is getting all the dogs ready for travel. Whacker is learning to use his box. Jules has been teaching him all week to get to know his box because he's going to be in it for maybe 16 hours. Moritz is also going and so is Rodney. The three best friends all traveling together. Wacker's going to Scotland, Rodney is going to Wales and Moritz is going to London. But Wacker has been the best boy with his training. He's going to sleep in his box tonight, aren't you Wacker? Or tomorrow night maybe. And then you'll be ready to go. So they've been waiting patiently for six, seven months but they're traveling this weekend and we're going to be very sad to see them go, aren't we, Wacker? Now you can see here our lovely shelters, which we've had made. They help us increase the capacity here at the land. It just means we can sneak a couple of extra dogs in to extra play areas and they have somewhere cozy, about $150 each. The dogs all absolutely adore them and it gives them a beautiful place to just feel cozy and homely. They're really good for, uh, for shelter for the dogs from the sunshine, the rain, and you could nearly sleep in it yourself. I'm not joking. They are very, very sturdy. I might do a follow-up video on how they were made. Uh, made by a local tradesperson, <laughs> Tina. <laughs> Absolutely loves them. Now we're nearly always full here at the land and there's very rarely any space. But this little puppy here was dumped without a mother two days ago, covered in ticks and fleas, and went up to get them. There's actually three puppies dumped, but two. One of the others has been found, one is still missing. We think some locals have picked them up, but little Solo here. Found a place for her in the bathroom because we didn't have any kennels, but you couldn't leave her out there. She would have died. So we've got her cleaned up. She's starting to feel a lot better. She's, Tina's taken her under her wing and I think I might already have her a home, uh, which would be absolutely incredible. She's only a little thing. She's very, very cute and she's loving her time here already. Now, one of the biggest problems that we have is space. We only have one small play area, which is behind me, which is where Rodney and Wacker and Moritz usually stay. We have little Lily outside, but we've now got a bigger play area, which we're trying to expand, uh, but it needs shade, it needs cover. It's a lot of stuff to get right. The problem is the dogs don't all get on. They're just like people. They won't all be best friends. So we do need to separate them. So for example, King Wacker and Brad Pitt are mortal enemies. They cannot be together. For some reason, they just never got on. And there's other little sort of cliques, I would say. Like I'll show you Lady and Tina. They live in the office with a little puppy. Derek likes being on his own. But basically, the more places we have to put them, which is why we're building a new play area with a, a more cover, the more dogs we can have, the safer they can be, the more they're separated, the less chance there are of fights, etc. This is the office gang. The office gang. <laughs> One very important thing that maybe not everybody would know about uh, dogs, especially in Thailand, is because it's so hot, they don't come out during the day. So if I have a look in a couple of the shelters, the likes of Derek and all the dogs will sleep as soon as it gets hot from about 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning until five o'clock in the evening, the dogs are nowhere to be seen. So that's when we get a chance to do all the, all the manual stuff that we need to do because it's just too hot. They like coming out early morning when it's nice and cool or in the evening when things cool right down. We'll see little Brad Pitt. And I'm here with Brad Pitt who got the best news of the week. He has obviously, where else would Brad Pitt be going apart from America? He's going to California. He's gonna be traveling in a few weeks time. Aren't you mister? He got a lovely home over there and his life in the streets is over. Main thing I wanted to get across today was just how much madness there is going on. And unfortunately you don't get to spend all of your time with dogs. Here's Jules putting the boxes together for travel. Got to put five of these together, six of them together. Jules is uh, swearing nonstop in German. 
<laughs> the cement truck is there with more boxes to make but it's all for the dogs at the end of the day they're all going to travel and be happy so this is the part you don't often see is the, the manual stuff going on behind the scenes not for you tina you're never going in a box